at the beginning of this video i wanted to do this cool thing they do on the internet like hey ho hey yeah keep going oh but then something in me just said i don't think you have the facilities for that big man <laughs> official youtube video i cannot believe i'm actually doing this video let the choir say so this is my first official video and before we even get right to the main business of the day i'm just going to ask for two seconds of your time just two seconds and for those two seconds all you have to do is subscribe and like baby you will not pay money it's just free yes, this video is all about getting to know who this girl is this face you're seeing yeah so it's going to be a get to know me tag and i'll be doing about 10 to 11 questions so let's get right into that yeah so the first question is your name yes yeah, so my name is chidima elogo emanuela yes I gave back to the name of this youtube channel chichi elogo because i'm fondly called chichi or dima so either way it sits right with me but i like being called chichi hence the name of this youtube channel country and state of origin okay i'm nigerian i live in nigeria and i'm friendly not local government area of anambra state i mean i'm one of people <laughs> where did you grow up all right um i grew up partly in lagos and delta state yes i was living in lagos at a point while growing up and um after a while we had to move back to delta state but i am currently based in lagos nigeria what do you do okay um what i do um during the day i'm a radio presenter yes that is what people call oaps on air personalities yes so i work in a radio station and i present so i'm going to put the name of the station in the description box so if you're driving through lagos or Ogun state you can just tune in and listen to this girl have you gone to college and what did you study? Okay, um, I'm a graduate. I'm a graduate of the Delta State University, Abraka. Yes, I studied political science, so I'm a Delsu alumni. For the people that went to Delsu, what up, what up? Yeah, so Delta State University, Abraka. Do you speak any languages and how well? Yes, I speak three languages. I speak English language, of course, that's what I'm talking with. Um, I speak Igbo language because I'm Igbo, obviously. Yes, I know my sweet Bofuma um i speak pigeon fluently too ha because that is actually what i do for a living now pigeon now they speak to take a less salary at the end of the month so yes i certainly speak pigeon well well <laughs> are you single or taken hey yes so i'm taken i'm taken by jesus but in real life i'm actually single very single but i'm not searching i'm not searching but i'm single Describe your first crush. Hmm. <laughs> okay, my first crush was when I was 16. Um, I think I was 15 or 16 there about because I know I was either in SS3 or about to be done with my high school there about uh, there about within 15 to 16. Um, I was in the choir then, the Reading Christian Church of God, and there was this hot guy that was the drama. And he was a banker, so you can imagine then, you know, bankers were like the ish, and he was tall, and he was fun, and he was a drummer, so he would just come to the choir practice, and I'm just going to be like, take a look at me now, <laughs> there's just an empty space. But oh my god, I really crushed on that guy. I don't even know his name anymore. But that guy actually made me dedicated to the choir. Like, ah, if you see me when I'm taking praise and worship like this, hey, just because he's the one drumming. Somebody say ba 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 ba. Somebody say ba 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 ba. I will shake and dance and dance. But the guy didn't even give me like 
I, I think he actually saw me as a child, which I actually was. I was a child at that point, but for some reason, I would. It was a massive crush, and it, it wasn't like a two-day thing or a three-day thing. It was like for a year or more. But fast forward to like five years later, when I was in school, I think I was in final year then, and I saw him. I was like, ew. ew. How did I even have a thing for this guy? Because then I, I realized that bankers were really, really the shit. Uh, they were stressed out and he was... I just don't know. But I don't even know where he is. And years later, it didn't matter anymore. I had so many more crushes after that. But he was my first crush. And I don't even remember his name. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> what is your genre of movie and why? Okay, um, the type of movies I like are usually romantic movies. Yes, I won't even lie. I like romantic movies i can watch romantic movies from morning till night and the funny thing is i'm not even a very romantic person in fact i've been accused of being very unromantic but i just love reading books like that and i love watching movies that have to do with romance and i cry in movies like i literally cry every time they say this um i literally cry anytime they say this cute and nice things but for me to implement it in the real world can never be me. No. Have you moved from home? Where to and how was the experience? Oh, I like this question. Yes, I've actually moved from home. My um, family um, is based in Asaba, Delta State, but I actually reside here in Lagos. I live and work here in Lagos. And moving for me, I would say, was exciting because um, uh, it's coming from a place of love. But um, my family is uh, my family members are pretty intrusive, so they're like, you're this kind of family. They're all up in your business. Who are you talking to? Who are you texting? Where are you going? So for me, finishing school and being at home for like a year, trying to wait for national youth service. Oh my goodness, it was like the longest ever. I had to take um, an internship. That was when I actually developed my love for radio. Yeah, so I took uh, I took up this internship program at a radio station just for me to leave the house so going for national youth service as at then was it felt like a relief and from there i got a job and from there i got another job so i miss my family a lot sometimes when when i think about them you know i feel this tightness in my heart that i don't get to see them for a pretty long time but i just like my privacy and I'm pretty independent if I do say so myself. But I like to be spoiled, but I'm independent. <laughs> um, what is your channel all about? Okay, I like this one. Um, for now, I'm keeping my options open, but um, while I'm keeping my options open, I'm going to narrow it down to a few things. I'm going to be doing a lot of beauty. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast. I'm doing a lot of fashion. I'm not an expert. I'm an enthusiast. And then food, I absolutely love um, the concept of food preparation. That is why my favorite channel is Food Network and BBC Lifestyle. Anything I get to see, anytime I get to see the preparation of food, it is oddly satisfying. Yes, it's oddly satisfying to, um, it's oddly satisfying to watch meals being prepared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys on a journey of me trying out new recipes maybe preparing them myself or tasting them elsewhere. It's just going to be like a jolly ride all the way. And it's also gonna be vlogs. This year, I actually planned on doing a lot of traveling, but then coronavirus came around and we're stuck here in Lagos, but I really wanted to do a lot of interstate traveling, um, outside the country trips and take you guys along with it. But we are live. I will well so i'm definitely going to be doing a lot of that and then gossip <laughs> as you can hear the sound of my voice you can know that i can take a proko for africa so i'm gonna be telling you a lot of gist as i take you guys on this journey you're gonna be doing a lot of things that you know you know you know you know <laughs> what are your hobbies okay i like reading I read a lot. Um, I used to have cartons of books while growing up and even my teenage years and adulthood, I had a lot of books. Of course, romance novels, Cart Martins, Daniel Steele's, Nora Robert, you know, 
I just liked anything books. But now, I'm stuck on Wattpad, yeah. I'm reading more of Nigerian books because just out there to show them support. We still have a long way to go, but I'm doing more of Nigerian books now. I like to see movies because I talked about it earlier. I like seeing romance uh, movies. I like drama too. Please don't tell me to watch horror. I don't do anything horror. I don't really like action movies. Whatever blood is involved, please don't call me. Don't text me. Don't 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 do anything. I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> and um, also, I like learning new things. I like surfing the internet to learn new things. Yes, guys, that is the end of this youtube video i hope i've been able to say one or two things that might have piqued your interest to remain subscribed to this channel Bitco, like and subscribe to this video and i promise it's going to be better 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 from here onwards like we're going like this we're not going down like we're not going down so thank you guys and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to chi chi elegance YouTube channel. Till my next video, remain sweet.